everyone, welcome back to Vlogtober. Today is organization day and I'm gonna tackle Paul's wardrobe, which is, you know, let me show you. As you guys know, Paul had to leave on deployment, very short notice, so he had very quickly done his wardrobe, but as you can see, it's a proper hot mess. So I'm gonna try and sort it out. The first thing I'm gonna tackle is the hanging stuff. As you can see, it's bowing in the middle with the weight. I'm gonna sort that out. I had actually bought him some more of those hangers. They're a lot thinner than the wood ones and therefore won't take up a much, as much space. So let's get started. I picked up these these hangers from a Pound Stretcher. They were three forty nine for a pack of ten. I don't even know where to start on this side. I think I'm just going to get everything out and see what we've got and go from there. picked up these from Tesco's, they were on offer for $2.75 each um, and I'm just checking to see how they fit so I might get two more, another two more and two more but first I want to see how I would organise everything. Okay so I think I'm going to go to Tesco's and get a load more storage boxes and Let's do that. So I'm back. It took about half an hour. I went into Tesco's and got some more of those curver boxes. And then I wanted some bigger boxes to go right at the top, but they didn't have anything that wasn't awfully expensive. So went across the road to Pound Stretcher and found some I'm going to show you. But also, just outside Tesco's, there is a dry cleaners. I managed to drop Paul's work coat, which is only dry clean, off, which I can pick up on Friday. So I was like, yay, lots of stuff done. But let me show you what I got. So I got 12 of those curver boxes. And then I got, these are the four that I got in uh, Pound Stretcher for 3 69 each. And then while I was there, I picked up some socks and I really needed new shower curtain hooks so I got some of that as well. So it's actually now the next day and I think I'm ready to show you what I've done. Now please bear in mind that this is Paul's wardrobe. He's very kindly said that I could have a go at organising it. Usually for many years he's always said stay out of it. So he said I could do it so I had a go. I did not throw anything out Paul but I've spent way too much money on boxes. You don't want to know. I'll tell you at the end how much I've spent. Paul you can skip that bit okay. Now I'm going to show you, but please bear in mind that a few things I can't do anything with until Paul gets back where he can help me whether decide that this stuff needs to go into storage in our shed, whatever. So enough. Let, let me show you. So we're going to start with this side up there, that's paperwork and that's Paul's stuff. He will need to decide where that is going to go. 
I don't mind it so much. He covered it in old maps, which, okay. And then in these baskets, I put all his stuff the way I thought he should have it. Whether or not it will stay like this, I can always, I made the labels with my label machine so I can always change it. And this one's got a uniform to replace. Now, the way it works, Paul's not allowed to throw out any of his uniforms. So if there's some shirts that are looking old, he needs to take them into stores, which they have, and replace them. He gives them the old one and they give them a new one. I went through all his uniform and if I thought that shirts or trousers looked a bit, you know, done, I've put them in here and then he can take them to stores whenever he wants, but he can also add stuff to it if he wants. So I, I'm really pleased at having that because he had like 15, 20 shirts hanging up, which they shouldn't be anyway. Then in here is his jumpers. Now, please bear in mind as well that this is his working wardrobe. He does have over there a chest of drawers, which has all his normal jumpers and things like that. This is just for work. So they're none here because I've just washed them and they're drying, but they'll be ready. And then winter inserts and accessories. So all his coats from work are, they're not seasonable. Basically you can wear them all year round. You just have to in, insert bits in it to make it warmer. I also have his gloves in there, all that kind of stuff. And then more paperwork. I would like him to find a different place for this and then I can add another basket where he can have more stuff. And then here is uniform extras. So he's got things like extra berets, extra belts. There's an extra pair of shoes I've put in a linen bag, all that kind of stuff. And then at the bottom, he's got another one of his boxes with paperwork and stuff. And then here, I've put a label oops, saying, empty your pockets. So every night when he comes in, and it's not just his pockets, but there's his tie and his belt, a pen. There's some of his rank tabs. So basically, he can put his keys in there, but also means that in the morning, everything is there ready for him. His working shoes and his boots will be there as well. So I'm going to show you now the next bit. Okay, so this side is the side that I'm least pleased with. I'm going to tell you why. So at the top are the boxes. I got from Pound Stretcher. Right there is his backpack, and there's another backpack there. Hopefully, again, we'll find a different way to store them. And the boxes, I've put labels on them, you know, deployment gear, outdoor gear. So I literally, there's another one with deployment gear there. The doors are in the way. But I thought when he comes back, he can organize that how he wants. Um, but yeah. So we have an extra box as well, which is down at the bottom, I'll show you. And then here, at the moment I have extra hangers for him. Here I have his dress, shirts and ties, because I, I have to tell you, he doesn't wear them very often. It's been at least over a year, maybe two or three, but he still needs to keep them. So I just fold them instead, instead of having them hang in there because when he does have to wear them I'll probably give them a quick wash and they'll be ironed and then these two baskets are actually empty at the moment I could if I squeezed a little bit to the sides fit an extra basket in there which we might do once he helps me give it the last organizing push and then here he has all his hanging clothes these are the clothes that he wears when he's not at work. There's a lot of clothes missing because he has them with him at the moment. And then as you go through, I actually put in the middle his suits and his number one uniform 
because it will be the place that gets used the least. He'll either pick out his clothes from there or open the other side and pick the stuff up for his uniform from that side. And then I hate this bit here. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. It's all his like uni paperwork and work paperwork. So when he gets back, Paul, this needs to be gone. Gone, babe, gone. And then again, they'll have a lot more room there to stack other stuff. And then finally there is his number one uniform. Not the actual uniform itself, but is hat, number one hat and number one shoes. They're kept in a special box, in special boxes, because he's very careful with them. They have to be looked after, basically. And then, boom, the aftermath. I don't know why my handbag's in there, but I'm going to get rid of all these um, hangers. And these are the boxes that I have left. And like I said to you, I could probably squeeze a few more in there. So I'm probably just going to put them into my pantry at right at the back and then we can use them again so what did you think does it look better i think it does and i think it will make paul's life a lot easier now how much i've bought every single bin you see in here these curver ones and the top ones i could have bought uh, some Poundland ones but they are actually a weird shape and they waste a lot of space so I wanted the curver ones Paul look away now cover your ears so I spent 36 pounds now there is room to add some more boxes which will bring it up to maybe 40 pounds but I think it was totally worth it he will make use of these for years to come and I can always reuse the boxes somewhere else when they're no longer needed. That is it everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget there'll be more vlog Vlogtober tomorrow. See you then. Take care. Bye.